Not just one, but four earthquakes within 24 hours have hit Turkey and Syria, and the death toll has now mounted to over 4,300. The World Health Organization officials estimate that the death toll might go up to 20,000. The epicenter of the first earthquake was near the Turkish city of Gaziantep. Now, this was measured at 7.8 magnitude. Now, this happened at the early hours of Monday when most people were sleeping inside and they could not escape. It was followed by dozens of aftershocks. Within just eight hours of the first earthquake, a second earthquake of 7.6 magnitude was again recorded in the same area. This was followed by another earthquake in the evening, which was recorded at 6 magnitude. And another earthquake of 5.8 magnitude was recorded this morning. The earthquake was so large that the tremors were even felt in other countries like Egypt, Greenland, Lebanon and Israel. Now let's understand that thousands of buildings have collapsed. Turkish and Syrian disaster response teams have reported that 5,600 buildings have been flattened across several cities. Now these include many multi-storied apartment blocks that were filled with sleeping residents when the first quake had stuck. More than 4,300 people have lost their life and the death toll is predicted to go beyond 20,000. Now several parts of cities have reduced to more rubble. Thousands of people are still stuck under the rubble and the rescue operation is still underway. Now let me tell you that this area, this region is really cold and a winter blizzard has also covered major roads in the area with wind and snow. People absolutely have nowhere to stay. Now, northern Syria has also faced massive damage. Now, this region was already ravaged with more than a decade old of civil war. People were living in poor condition in refugee camps and were facing shortage of even basic necessities. So far, more than 45 countries, including India, have offered help. We'll keep bringing in more such news and updates to follow Jagran English.